How do I feel about people using my name for views slash speaking on my name? CB Kennel family. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, it's Tommy CB Kennel, CEO. We're back with another video, you guys. This video, we're coming to y'all with a Q&A. Um, so I told you guys, send me some questions y'all want to ask me, some questions y'all want me to answer, and I'm going to answer them for y'all. Um, stuff like that. So, let's jump straight into the questions, y'all, because... I don't want this video to be too, too long. So let's jump straight into them. Um, uh, let me just double check, make sure nobody dropped no more questions before I start answering. Um, give me one second, you guys. By the way, you guys, go follow the Instagram, man. I'm going to be doing a live stack off in a few days. If you want to be in it, man, that's crazy. Right before I was about to start, I got another question. Trail dropped it for me. All right, so, um, like I was saying, go follow the Instagram, you guys. I'm going to be doing live stack out soon um, for some cash, whoever win. We're going to do, so I know I tried it before, but it was a little not organized. So, this time I'm doing class. So I'm going to do micro pocket standard class. Um, there's going to be a winner from each class, pocket standard, micro. Um, and they would probably do like best pup or something like that. But go follow the Instagram. That go to Instagram right there. So let's just jump straight to the straight up into the question. Um, so first question of the day. Um, have I ever thought about starting my own registry? Yes, it has crossed my mind to start my own registry. It has. Like it, it has, but one thing about me, you guys. Before I start a registry, I want to get everything else in mind. I like to go in order. I don't like to just bounce all over the place. So my first thing I'm, I'm working on right now, my first two big things is my website and my clothing line. Because once I start my clothing line and get that established, I will no longer wear anybody. As you guys see, I got on True Religion. I will not. Once I get that established, I will not wear any other clothing brand besides CB Killings. Yes, um, my merch will be available on my website. You see how the website and my merch go hand in hand? So once I take it step by step, I want to build my way to that millionaire status. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like once I get a little bit more up there, then that's when I uh, would do my registry. But yes, I have thought about it. Yes, I have. In the near future is what I'm going to say to answer that question. Next question. Would you buy English Bulldog? And you know what's so crazy, you guys? When I tell you I'm plugged in with a lot of things, I'm really plugged in, when, especially when it comes to dogs, micros, bullies. But I got a guy right now, one of my guys I bought a dog from, he trying to get me to, he trying to get me to, to breed them EBs, man. He trying, like, the minute, uh, the mini English Bulldog, he got some. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, shot him, man. He got some dope English Bulldogs, but I just never been an English Bulldog person, man. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just not me. So to be honest with you guys, no, I probably never breed them. Um, the only exception that I would think about, think about, is when I open up my um, when I open up my 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 my, my store, I might think about it. I'm thinking about it, but for me, just to breed them for myself, like here at the crib, nah, not at all. Um, but like I said, man, it's a lot of things I got in motion. You know, what I'm saying I don't want to speak on everything, man. I don't want to just be your average YouTuber breeder. That's it. I don't want that. I want to be that dude. You know, what I'm saying like. I want to be, I want to have a storefront where I sell dogs in stores other than bullies, you know, website, uh, my own registry, man. I want, I want to be him and I'm grinding to get there. So next question. Have I took pretty boy to the vet by his legs? Um, yes, I have took pretty boy to the vet. Again, I don't put everything on YouTube, you guys. You guys got to understand. You guys... Some people feel like they know me off a 20 minute video. Man, you don't know me off a 20 minute video. That's all you guys see. I don't put everything on YouTube. I put most of everything because a lot of breeders, a lot of YouTubers don't. But I put most of everything, but not quite everything. I say I put about 80% of things on YouTube. But the other 20, man, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't got to put my whole life on YouTube. But yes, I have. And the vet say he's perfectly fine. I just have to do therapy on him and he's perfectly fine. Um, next question. Is there any other dogs you want to breed in the future? 
Um, like I told you guys, yes, that's why I got the mini golden doodle. But um, again, I'm taking it step by step. It's not something that I'm gonna jump into overnight. You know what I'm saying? I won't start like branching, branching off literally until I get my story. Once I get my story, that's when I'll get my Pomeranians, my um, Yorkies, miniature Yorkies, you know what I'm saying? Teacup Yorkies. Um, might breed some German Shepherds. Might breed some, you know what I'm saying? Some Dalmatian. Yeah, you know, I don't know, man. Like, with me, man, you never know, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to like breeding wise, like, you know, I'm definitely going to get into different breeds when I open up my store. Next question. How do you feel about single registered dogs when you say you're looking for quality? Okay, so one thing about registry, man, you guys don't understand. You can always add your dog to different registries. Most of these registries out here, you can you can double register your dog. You know it's not hard to double register your dog. If your dog is registered already with the registry, you can double register. Just like Juice. Juice came single registered with UKC. Juice is triple registered. Juice registered with UKC, ABR, and USBR. I triple registered Juice. All of my studs will be triple registered. I make sure to triple register all my studs. Um, well, besides Drake, because he's a pocket. You can't register a pocket ABR and USBR because those are strictly micros. Um, but my micro studs, pretty boy, will be triple register. Juice, pretty red, uh, triple register. Um, the males I keep from my up and coming litters, triple register. Um, I don't, I don't really care about registry when it comes to you know quality because I can always register my dogs and triple register myself. That's not hard. Um, maybe one video I show you guys how to do that, which is it's, it's quite simple. But I show you guys in the video. Um, next question. After getting a new female that's coming in heat. Could she throw off the heat cycle of a female you already have? Yes, she could. Definitely could because you can have a new female that comes in heat and it's a false heat. Sometimes females don't come in heat when you first get them. Like, good example. Um, who did that to me? It was a dog that did that to me. Um, who did it to me? Kiki. When I first got Kiki, she came in heat, but it wasn't really a heat. Um, change of environment would definitely mess with the the females, uh, the, 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 dog, the female dogs. Their, their cycle to definitely throw it off and mess it up and you would think they're heat really not heat they bleed for two days three days and then they stop bleeding um but yes it's definitely possible um again you guys i'm not a vet so you know i don't know everything when it comes to dogs please don't think i'm a know-it-all because i've never said i was a know-it-all i'm actually not a know-it-all um i learn from you guys too and i appreciate the knowledge you guys give me because i'm not a know-it-all i'm not a vet i didn't go to school for this you know what I'm saying? I just go by what I've seen and what I've encountered through breeding dogs. Next question. What's a good way to promote a litter? Man, there's many different ways to promote a litter, man. I mean, to be honest with you, a real stud owner should help you promote your litter. That's just me personally. You breed the CV kennel studs, we're going to help you promote your dogs. I'm just being honest with you. If you use my studs, we're going to help you promote your dogs. We're going to help you promote your dogs. Like, no cap. Like, I'm not one of them dudes that's going to save your stud for you to have a nice day. If you use one of my studs, I'm going to help you promote your litter. Like, because think about it. That's, that's technically my production also because it's off my studs. So I'm going to help you promote your litter. That's one. That's me. A lot of, like I said, a lot of people don't do that, but I do. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, but that's a way, you know, the stud owner should help you. Um, you know, see, some people could, you know, you could pay for a promo, man. There are people, dog breeders that are doing promos, like me personally. I do promos. Um, right now, I'm only doing YouTube promos. I'm not doing Instagram promos because you guys know my Instagram kind of out of whack. But once I get back to a certain, you know, number of Instagram followers, then I'll go back to doing YouTube, uh, Instagram promos. But you got people doing promos, you know, just one thing about dogs, man, quality going to sell itself. That's all I'm going to say. Next question. Next question. Um... Is it a way to tell when you can AI without a progesterone test? Um, yes. Yes, it is. Bro, you guys got to think about it. I did that with the uh, princess. And I ain't going to lie. I didn't think she took because of my, you know, me and, me and Shannon kind of got, you know, <laughs> some things going on. But yes, there is a way. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, there's two ways. Ask the person you bought the dog from or if it's a puppy, you got to pay attention to them. The stud going to tell you when she's ready. Literally. Um... Personally, if I wasn't a big progesterone man, and you know I was just out here just doing the, just doing it to do it, personally, what I would do. This is my personal opinion. This is if I wasn't doing progesterone, this is what I would do. Every time I let my female out, my male, and she's flagging like she won't let him hit it, I'm going AI. 
every single time. I don't care if it's four or five times. You gotta think about it, when dogs are in the wild, ain't no progesterone machine, ain't no none of that when, when dogs are in the wild. She gonna toot that thing up and he gonna, you know what I'm saying, and simple as that. But there is a way. Just let your dogs tell you, the dogs are gonna tell you. Those your cats, stop. Those your cats, stop. Next question, will we see Pretty Boy X Rosa Parks in the future? No, I will never breed Pretty Boy to Rosa Parks. No, you guys, I breed by bloodlines. I breed by bloodlines. Pretty Boy is Musashi blood. Rosa Parks is bait. Which, that, you know what's crazy? That is a, that, that would be a dope breeder. Um, it, it would click. Like, it definitely would click because Busachi goes good with bait. If you ever breed a Busachi female to a bait blood, that blood clicks. But no, Rosa Parks pretty much would be going to juice every litter. Um, they, well, we go by the first litter, and once that first litter hit, which I know is going to be super, super dope, um, then after that, I want to keep Rosa Parks in, like, the bait blood. I want to keep her in the Don Juan family, you know what I'm saying? Because she's Don Juan blood. So I want to keep her, like, you know, the fat boy, Don Juan bait type thing. I don't want to I don't want to necessarily breed her pretty boy right now. I got some other stuff in, in store for pretty boy, and I'm going to shock the world. Like, I'm literally going to shock the world when I do this and when I show you guys, but I'm not even going to speak on it right now. I'm going to just let... I'm going to let my actions do the talk. I ain't going to speak on that. But as of right now, as of right now, see, I got to be more, that's my problem. I got to be more, more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I got to be more, um, careful with the words that I choose and the words that I, things that I say on YouTube. So as of right now, Pretty Boy and Rosa Parks, it will not be done. Her first breeding, I mean her first, well her second heat, because she's in her first heat right now. Her second heat, she will be going to juice. Um, next question. All right, so this question, speaking on other kennels, I, one thing about me, I will never speak on another kennel. Um, shout out to these other kennels and other y'all do two breeds out. Shout out to them boys and, and women or whatever. Um, I wish the best for y'all. I will never speak on another, uh, another breeder because that's not me. Like, I think it's lame, and that's just not how I rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not... And next thing, I, I charge for promotion. I'm not giving nobody no free promotion. Like, I'm not finna say nobody's name on my channel. I, I'm down there at 60K giving somebody free promotion. I charge for promos. I'm not doing that. But other than that, like I said, I'm not speaking on nobody's camp. This person asked me about four different camps. Um, most of them I don't even know. That I don't even know who people are. But um, shout out to them. Um, but I won't speak on nobody's camp. That's one question I won't answer. Um, next question. What do I think my best litter is and why? My best litter, personally, I would say, was the Abigail and Juice. Reason why? Because, man, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I saw, like, yo, they producing, I'm not going to lie. Like, Abigail and Juice did their thing. Like, the females from that litter and the males from that litter, they dope. They really dope. I don't, again, you guys know I'm structured first. Um, things like that. Color second. But that, that litter was dope. Like, just even seeing them now, they six, seven months, man, they look great. They look amazing, guys. So I definitely would say the litter with Juice and Abigail. R.I.P. Abigail. Uh, next question. Um, what do I regret most when it start when I started breeding? What do I regret? What do I regret most when I started breeding? Um. What I regret most, honestly, you guys, when I started breeding, was being more open. I, I can honestly say I regret that. What I mean by that is like. I used to have guys telling me what I tell guys now. Oh, it take money to make money. Oh, you know, I was real closed minded when it comes to like spinning bread and like when it comes to like micro, I want to bring pockets, you know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to breeding dogs, man, you kind of, I mean, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to be straightforward with y'all. I ain't going to cap a sugar coat shit. Y'all know me. Like I'm, I'm going to let y'all know what time it is. To be honest with y'all, bro, bro, you got to follow the money. I'm just being honest with you, bro. You, I mean, you got to follow your dream also. But you got to have some of what people want in the cut. You got to, like, no matter what you breed or decide to breed, you got to have a little bit or one or two of what people want in the cut. You got to. Like, I mean, you have to. Like, I mean, it's it's, it's mandatory. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I regret being open because when I first came in, I was not going to breed micros. But look at what got me what I, what I, where I'm at. Micros. You know what I'm saying? And I love micros and Frenchies. You see what I'm saying? But I started off breeding pockets. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, that's, that's one thing I regret being real close-minded. Next question. Do I think people will make it in the bully world if, in the bully world if their dog is not registered? It's easy. Register your dogs, bro. You got many registers that had registered dogs, bro. So that's not even a question I'm going to answer because you can just register your dogs. 
What do I think about XL American Buddies? I think they're amazing. I think they're amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I definitely, I'm definitely gonna get a American Bully uh, XL. But again, you guys know I have a big backyard. But as of right now, I'm I'm content with what I got. But it's not what I want. I want a five bedroom house. I want ten acres of land. You guys know. Once I get there and get to where I want to be, then I'll get more dogs. Um, I love dogs, you guys. So I, I I don't never think I got too many dogs. You know what I'm saying? But yes, I definitely will. I like them. I like the XLs, and I definitely will be getting something in the near future once I get my future home. <laughs> um, the next person, next question said, would I start breeding standards? Um, probably not, because I mean, XLs and pockets are kind of around the same thing. Well, pockets are a little bit shorter, XLs are a little bit bigger, so I mean, probably not, because I mean, it's kind of around the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Next question. Am I going to do a show? I'm going to throw a show. That's crazy because I was just talking to my man, Strells, about throwing a show. Um, yes, that's definitely in my, in my plan. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Throwing a show is not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of talking to people, knowing people. It's a lot. Um, but again, you guys, I'm not where I want to be. I understand a lot of people want to see me doing a lot of different things, but I'm not where I want to be right now to want to do that. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'm blessed to a lot of people, and I'm, 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 I'm hot to a lot of people. Like, I had a guy tell me, hey, man, you're the best. You're the best micro dog breeder YouTuber out here. And I was like, nah, I'm not the best, bro. I never call myself the best, bro. But I definitely grind and I put in work. But I would never call myself the best. I'm not cocky at all, bro. I'm very humble. I am never say I'm the best. I'm not the best. Actually, I don't think I'm the best. But I, I do put in work. I will say that. I put in work. I put in a lot of work. Um, but yes, in the future, I will be throwing a show. Um, next question. How do I feel about two times killer joining my camp? That's a real dude, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He a real stand-up dude. I got him that like, you know, as one dude I can call and and tell him a game plan and we execute it and he on board and he he follow my lead. I'm not even gonna say he follow my lead. I'm not a boss. We're both bosses. And when he joined my camp officially, we both gonna be the boss. I'm not the boss. I'm just the CEO. I created CB Killers, but he's the boss. He's like, I'm a boss. I would never put myself above anybody. One thing about me, when I started my organization, I promised myself I would never be the boss. I'm not the boss. We all bosses. Everybody that affiliated with me and my camp and joined my camp, we all the boss. I'm not, the, oh, that's the boss. No, no, I'm not their boss. I don't pay them. We all pay each other. You know what I'm saying? Trez the boss like I'm a boss. Ain't no, oh, he, I'm the boss. No, like, Trail's the boss. I'm just the CEO. I created CB Kills, but he's the boss too. But I'm, I'm I'm excited, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Trail got some stuff cooking up, man. We gonna he he he. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like he a real loyal dude. You know what I'm saying? And like he's I feel like he gonna stand behind CB Kills. Like I'm gonna stand behind CB Kills. You know what I'm saying? So you know I, I'm I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? To see what we do. Um, let me see. Next question. How much did I make in a year breeding? Um. I don't want to get into my finances, you guys. I really don't want to get into that. But I've made a good amount. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get into my finances, but I have made a good amount. Trust me, I've made a good amount. Trust me. It's not a million dollars yet, but it's 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 a good amount. And I don't want to go into numbers and stuff like that. Um, all right, next question. All right, so this person said, have I, any, have I had any conflict with my old lady girlfriend slash wife slash partner about my dog Kendall's plans? If so, how did I resolve the issue? I'm a battle with y'all. No disrespect towards nobody out there. Please don't tell what I'm saying personal. But I'm a real dude. I'm going to tell y'all what it is. Bro, you know, bro, I'm not finna go ask nobody about how to spend my money, bro. If I, could, if I make my money... Not finna go ask nobody. Oh, can I spend this? Can I like? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, I respect relationships where you know you gotta go ask your wife, can you buy a dog? But you know, I personally feel like I'm gonna just tell how I personally feel. Personally, if you're a man in your household and you're the man in your relationship, you know, and you go to your lady or whatever the case is, whoever your other other significant other, and you tell them, hey, I got a I got a business plan. And I know it's gonna make and you and you did your research and you know what time it is and you know you're gonna make money, they should back you up hundred percent. That's just how I feel. Like regardless, like you should always chase your dream, no matter what nobody else say or nobody else feel. Like and honestly, if those never got to love you or care about you enough, they should support your dream. That's one thing about loving somebody or being in a relationship with somebody, you gotta always support them and have their back no matter what the case is. That's what a lot of relationships feel at, like, you know. 
they don't support the other. You know what I'm saying? They have a goal and they just like neutral with it. They don't support them. Like your biggest fan, first off, should be you. Your next biggest fan should be your significant other when it comes to you, you know what I'm saying? Start your business. But me personally, when I create that like one thing about me, you guys, I don't got no and I've said this before, I don't got no partner, bro. I don't got no partner who I go half with on dogs. When I see a dog and a nigga want eight thousand, eight thousand come out of my bank account. Not four from me and four from him. Bro, every dog I done bought, I bought on my own. Every six, seven, eight, nine, ten bands I done spawned a dog, I bought out of my bank account. I didn't go half. Like, you know what I'm saying? So ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do with my money that I created and I work hard for. I pick up poop myself. I pick up doo-doo. I wipe booties. I like cooties with blood on them, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody tell me what to do with my money. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. That's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect towards nobody in that relationship. That's just how I feel. Like, I'm a man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got my business money and I got my personal money. I got my family money and I got my kids' money. I got that stuff separated. My business money is my business. That's what I do. That's, that goes towards my business. Like, if this is my, think about it. Now, think about it in this perspective. Let's say you make your, let's say all your money you've made came from your business. How the hell is somebody gonna tell you, oh, don't do, don't, don't do something that, that made the money? You see what I'm saying? Like, that's just me, bro. Like, my my dogs made me this money. So first off, I'm gonna reinvest back into them, and I ain't gonna, and nobody gonna tell me what to, what you gotta do with my money that I worked hard for. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just like saying, oh, I work a nine, I work a, a, a nine to five job and. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes do it. Some dudes go home and get their own picture to their wife. I don't do that personally. I'm everything, but I ain't gonna lie. One thing about me, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, 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 I will say this though. It depends on the relationship or whatever the situation is. Because again, some dudes are not responsible. So one thing about me, bills first. Once my bills and everything paid, my extra money is investing money. By my bills, I make sure my bills are paid. I make sure my kids are fed, my family taken care of, everybody got what they need and want. Then after that, then we go, you know what I'm saying, handle everything else. Because again, you know, family first. You guys know, you got to take care of your family. You got to take care of your kids. You know what I'm saying? Real guys go handle business. Real men are going to handle business first. A lot of guys are not responsible. Well, some guys are not responsible. So they got to go to their wife to take care of this, you know what I'm saying, take care of business. They're not responsible with me. I'm responsible. I'm a grown man. I know business got to be, you know, business is business. I know business got to take care of, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not late on my bills and stuff like that. I make sure. <laughs> Everything is paid, so I guess it depends on you know what I'm saying. But me, I don't have that problem because I make my money and my bills are taken care of, my and everything about it taken care of, so I'm good. Um, next question. That was a great question, by the way. Uh, do all my males go crazy if my female in the heat, or does it depend on the male personality? Well, I mean, I don't know, man. I would, I would say it depends on your, it depends on, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on your account, man, because, I mean, any male dog can go crazy. Not go crazy, but, like, he going to sniff that female dog and want to hump her if she's in heat. Think about it. It's, it's natural. Like, it's it's natural. Like, you can't say, oh, my dog don't do it. But that's natural, bro. In the wild, if there's a male dog and, and that woman dog is getting, getting sending off that hump, that hump, so what happens is, Females, when they heat, they give off a certain hormonal smell, and the males smell it, and they know what time it is. So that would make them start to sniff on them, start to lick on them, start to want to, you know, get on their back, hump them, all that good stuff. That would make that, that's, that's what makes them start wanting to, you know, do what they got to do. Um, but, I mean, even Pretty Boy, you guys going to see in the next video I drop, Pretty Boy is trying to, you know, mate with uh, uh, with uh, Lala. You know what I'm saying? She's, he, he's a boy. He know what that smell mean, you know what I'm saying? But... It depends, you know what I'm saying? It's, I feel like it's natural, man. Every boy dog is going to do it. It's natural. Um, next question. How long, you guys? How do I feel about people using my name for views slash speaking on my name? Um, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I know a lot of people want to hear this. To be honest with you guys, this is how I honestly feel from the bottom of my heart. I feel like it's very lame. And I feel like, personally, like, it's like rappers, you know what I'm saying? It's like these rappers. Some rappers are relevant and don't get no buzz. So they go start up imaginary beef with other rappers or, you know, start beefing with imaginary. That's because the reason why I say imaginary beef is because you beefing with somebody who's not beefing with you. Everybody that's got something to say about me and speaking on my name 
in a negative way, whatever the case is, like you're beefing with yourself because I'm not even acknowledging it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even see that. You know what I'm saying? So you're really just wasting your time because if you want a reaction from me, you're not going to get that. You know what I'm saying? Again, I charge for promotion. So, you know, again, I'm very um, professional when it comes to handling my business. I don't just breed dogs. This is a business. This is this is, this is an organization in me. So I'm going to conduct myself in a professional manner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's, like I said, I think it's, I think it's, I really think it's weird and it's lame. Like, you know, you get no cool points for that. And what really bothers me, you guys, to be honest with y'all, what really bothers me is people being my DMs. No, I've seen a couple of videos people talk about me and I went in the comments and just, you know, just, just to read them. And what, 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 what's weird to me, we all know real recognize real. What, what's weird to me is that People been in their comments like, yeah, you right, you right. Yeah, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. But all they're trying to do is get you to come to their channel and get buzz on their channel from down to somebody else's name. But what don't make sense to me is this. How can I respect you for talking about the next man? Like, I thought being a dog YouTuber, you supposed to show your dogs and show your business. Not talk about the next person. Like, I, I, maybe I'm just getting it wrong or I'm confused or I don't know what I'm talking about, but personally, I thought when you're a YouTube dog breeder, you're not supposed to be on here beefing. You're not supposed to be on here talking about the next man. We're supposed to be seeing your dogs. You know, we're doing stuff with your dogs. Like, I'm just confused. Like I said, I don't know, but maybe I'm confused, but you know, I thought being a breeder is you're supposed to show your dogs. Show your day-to-day -day life with your dogs. Show breeding. Show puppies. Show this. Show that. Not like talk about the, the next man. Like, and I just think it's weird. But people people will respect them by talking about the next man, but don't look further into it like damn like, like show us your dogs. We don't want to hear that. Like and a lot of people don't realize that's why they don't grow. You're not gonna grow because they're here to see your dogs. They're here to see, you know, your your, your, your yard, your, your your program. They're not here to hear, yeah, you might get you know, 10K views off my name, you know what I'm saying? Which is really weird because one thing about me, I've been on YouTube for two years now. I got 300 some videos. You can go back and y'all can watch every video. I've never used another dog breeder person name in my videos, never will, never have, because I think it's weird. You get no cool points for that. I think it's really weird, really, bro. Like, cause like, like the only person I ever allowed to use my name was Trill, two times killed. And the reason being is because he's joining my camp. And he approved it with me first. And that was the only person I ever let. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was negative, whether somebody said something that was negative, positive, or neutral. Like, I still think it's weird because you're using somebody else's name to gain buzz or sell a dog or get views or get people to your channel. And I think that, bro, get views off of you, the strength of you. It's not real because you're using somebody else's name. So how do you expect people to mess with you if you're using somebody else's name to get views to your channel? Then when then when you get the when you get the 10k views on that video with my name in it, now when you post yours after that, you're not getting no views. Because, bro, they're not coming to the channel because of you. They're coming because of CB Kennels. You said his name. Like, I don't know, man. But like I said, you know, that's why I call it imaginary beef, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not I don't I'm not beef with nobody. I don't see nobody. Like I'm not and I mean that in the most humblest way. I'm not trying to sound cocky you know, I don't see nobody. Like I don't see negativity. I see positive. I'm having a major comeback right now. I got four I got five females in heat right now. Four breathings. One confirmed, four three more on the way. Four breathings. I'm not worried about nobody else. I'm worried about CB Kennels, Tommy, and my family and my camp. I'm not worried about no other YouTuber, no other dog breeder. That's why I don't speak on nobody. I speak on me. When I, people be sending me DMs about people hating on me, I keep on pushing. I don't even give it no acknowledgement because what am I gaining from it? Like, I just think it's, you know what I'm saying? I just think that's weird because I don't ever, you know, and it's crazy because I get a lot of hate, man, and, and, and genuinely, like, and I'm a genuine guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely a genuine guy. Like, I'm a genuine guy. I've helped so many people in the bully game, man. I done worked out prices with people, done, done dropped stud fees, that promote people dogs. Then I helped out a lot of people in the, in the bully world, bro. A lot of people, bro. And, and you know, people, I don't know, like I said, man, but one thing about me, people that's speaking on my name and all that good stuff, man, I don't see it, man. Like you, you, you got imaginary beef with yourself because you're beefing with yourself and you look stupid because I don't see it and you're not getting a recognition from me. 
You know what I'm saying? Honestly, you'll be better working with me than against me because, you know, I can get clout to your channel. All I got to do is do a promo. Look at Trail. Before Trail got my promo done, Trail had like 600 followers. I mean, he had like, what, 300, 400 subscribers. I did my promo. He got monetized. I did Trail promo. I did a promo for Trail. I did two promos for Trail. Trail got monetized. Come on, bro. Like, you better working with me than against me. But... And it's crazy because I don't do what other breeders do, uh, other YouTubers do. I don't talk bad people. Man, listen, I'm with the best for everybody. I don't mention names because I'm not giving nobody clout. I'm not finna get nobody clout. No, I'm not giving you free promotion. No, for what? I'm a very intelligent guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish the best. Whatever dog, because I know. And it's crazy because people, the other YouTubers and dog breeders talk so bad about me. But if y'all listen to their videos and y'all watch their videos, they tell y'all how they still support me. They still watch me. If you don't mess with me, if you don't, if you think he's so much a bad person, why do you still watch them? Why do you still even acknowledge them? If I don't mess with you, and I feel like you're doing bad business or whatever the case is, I'm just not going. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm not going to speak on you. I'm not going to think about you. I'm not going to watch you. I'm not going to do none of that. And that's how you know people. Most people just be talking like ass, yeah, just just for clout. And I think it's really weird, man. Like I don't know, man. Then you get your little 15 seconds of fame. Now, after that, your video is getting no views. Now you're back to square one. What did you gain from that? You gained 10K views or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? However, whatever. And then, like, you get nothing from it. So, what did you gain from it? And personally, I feel like it's, I feel like it makes you look like a lame because you got to use somebody else's name to sell a puppy. You got to use somebody else's name to, 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 to get, to get, to get, um, trapped to your YouTube channel. Come on, bro. I ain't never had to do that. I always got mine from the muscle. That's one thing about a real dude, a real stand-up dude. And you know what's so crazy? A lot of people don't see this. I'm a real stand-up dude. A lot of things other YouTube dog readers done done, I've never done. Like, I don't talk about nobody else. That's lame. That's weird. That's not what a real person do. I feel like anybody that talk about another breeder, they're lame and they're not real because we're here to see dogs. Not here to talk about the next man. That's weird, bro. But... I don't want to keep speaking on this, man. But like I said, um, I said that question for last because that, like, I knew that was going to take a lot of my time because, like I said, I know I'm pretty sure everybody been wondering, like, why Tommy don't speak on people that's, that make videos by him? And I heard this a lot of videos surfing about me, but again, I don't see it. <laughs> they have an imaginary beef. They, you sit you back, you, they, I'm laughing at them. I'm laughing at them because you think you're going to get clout, but you're not because I'm not going to respond. What they want, see, this is what they want from me. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not dumb. They, they want to talk about me, put my name in their videos, so I can go make a video about them, and they can get clouded. No, it's not going to happen. Trust me, it never will. You know what I mean, dudes done try to technically beef with me? Bro, I'm not beef with nobody, bro. I'm good. I don't want no, none of that. I don't want no smoke, y'all want. I don't want it, none of that. I'm good. I don't want no... Bro, I'm here to take care of my dogs, take care of my family, take care of myself, chase my dream. And, and, and make sure my dogs are happy. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here to beef, fight, shoot, none of that. I don't want none of that. No, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, respectfully. But one thing I will say, I give everybody the respect that I feel like I deserve. Um, but don't ever once think, you know, I won't get there. You know what I'm saying? I don't promote violence at all. But I will say this. I will stand 10 toes down about me. You know what I'm saying? And the real will understand what that means. I don't promote violence. I don't I don't want no beef with nobody. I don't want none of that. I'm good. Y'all got it. Y'all won. Y'all can get all the views. Y'all can get all the clout. Y'all can get all the promote. All that. I'm good. I'm good on that. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, I will stand on what I stand on now. So I just want that, you know, people to understand that. I will stand on. I'm 10 toes by Tommy now. I always remember that. And I'm going to die for what I love and what I believe in. So... You know what I'm saying? Just, just, you know what I'm saying? Understand that, you guys. I will die for CB Kimmels. I will die for this program. Because I, I, you know, I built it with my hard work, and I will die for it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but, like I said, I appreciate all my love and support. Um, everybody that's out here crying, every, I don't care what your name is. I don't care who you are. Every YouTuber, dog breeder out there, man, I wish the best for you, man. Keep grinding. If you got to use my name to, to get views, man, do you. Get man, get, the, get your bread, bro. Get your bread. I mean, you'd be better off just by coming to me like a man or a woman and saying, hey, uh, I need some help. You know, I need some help. Uh, can you help me out? Bro, I'd rather, I mean, I don't know. 
you'll gain more more insight by just asking than to try to just bash my name and i'll help you a lot more but because watch watch i'll guarantee you, get trail a year i give two times count get trail a year i guarantee y'all trail gonna be right there with me or even above me you know what i'm saying i'm not the type of guy i don't want niggas below me i get trail a year trail gonna be either with there up, up there with me or he gonna be above me watch see trail smart trust i'm work with him not against him he's a smart dude you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, one thing about me, I'm a real loyal dude. If I love you and I mess with you, I'm going to bend over backwards for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to die for you because that's just me. That's what type of dude I am. You know what I'm saying? But, again, man, YouTube with all British, man, I wish the best for y'all. I love y'all, man. I, lo I love y'all, man. I want the best for y'all. I want y'all to grind. Y'all got to use my name to get views and get y'all money, man. Feed y'all family with that money, man. Get monetized with that money, man. You see me killing this in every video. I'm cool with it. I'm not mad. Get your bread. I will never come between nobody and their bread. I think it's lame. You got to use somebody else's name. But I mean, <laughs> to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I would never do it. Because that's not how I rock. You know what I'm saying? But do what y'all got to do. Um, but, you know, I wish the best for y'all. Whatever the case is. But that's the end of the video, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate all the questions. Um, and I hopefully I answer everybody's questions to the best of my ability and the best of my acknowledgement. Um, you guys, please go follow the answer them like I told you earlier in the, earlier in the beginning of the video. Leave a thumbs up, you guys. Um, share my video. Share my video with everybody, man. Let's make CB becomes the way of life. Um, working on my website and my clothing brand, man. I will be selling merch on my website. It's going to be here. Give me about a month or two and it should be running up smooth. Um, I'm going to have everything on the website. I'm going to have um, my merch, up and coming letters. Breedings, um, different kind of breeds, dogs, everything's gonna be on the website. Um, um, so, like I said, man, we grinding, we we hurry, we working, we not worried about the negativity, we not speaking on the negativity, we're staying positive. Um, and just before any guys have anything to say, um, anything that I spoke on negativity in the video was answering people's question. I didn't create no negativity or wanted to none of negativity. I'm answering questions honestly. Not to be negative. I'm answering questions honestly. Um, but I love y'all, man. I, I'm glad, you know what I'm saying? Y'all mess with me. Y'all support me. Um, I appreciate y'all. I will always be a real dude. Even when, I, when I'm when at 100K subscribers, I'm going to always still be that YouTube where y'all can hit me up in my DMs and be like, hey, bro, I got a question for you. People hit me up all the time. Bro, you respond. Bro, I'm a regular dude. Bro, ain't nothing special about me. I'm a regular dude, just like you and him. Him and her. Everybody, I'm a regular dude. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need help. I ain't no, I'm not cocky and bougie. Like, like I get in them kennels and get dirty. I don't got, I don't pay nobody to, to do stuff for me. But um, I love y'all, man. Y'all keep following me. Y'all go watch the old videos, man. I got some good, I'm dropping good content, man. Y'all gotta go watch it. Y'all support me. Go back and watch my old videos, man. Leave some thumbs up. Y'all comment. Y'all know I'm an open channel. I'm an open book. Comment, negative, positive, criticism. Um. Whatever, whatever you want to comment. If you want to say, hey, my name's Bob. Hey, I hate you, Tommy. F you, Tommy. Tommy, you're a horrible breeder. Tommy, you're back. Man, I love it, y'all. Keep comment. Let's get it, y'all. Let's keep grinding. Let's get this, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to the bed. Let's keep these dogs healthy. Let's keep these dogs happy. Um, and let's just come together as a family, as a unit, as, as a society, as a dog breeding community, and um, grind. You know what I'm saying? We can make... More money. We can all make more money together than competing with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all got things that others can use or can benefit from. Let's help each other, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. Let's grind. Um, I love y'all. I'm going to catch y'all next video. CB Killer, uh, CB Killer CEO Tommy. We out, y'all. We gone.